45 women just died for me to go. Woo! That are alive, you are coming with me. These videos are satiric reviews. You don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. I hate this channel. Hey there, I'm Social Justice Warrior V Infuso. And have I ever mentioned that wrestling is weird? I mean, really, where else could you find a pirate, a clown, a clown face magician, a living dead man, and the Mean Street Posse, whatever that is, all competing in a giant boxing ring? Wrestling. Just wrestling. That's it. That's the only place. And when it gets gimmicky, it gets. it gets very. Very gimmicky. And don't even get me started with wrestling's many attempts to cross over with other media it doesn't belong in or vice versa. Or the needless cameos or guest appearances of celebrities allegedly relevant to each respective time period. And I can think of no greater example of all the things I just listed than when Robocop came to WCW. No, you, you didn't mishear me. And no, you didn't misunderstand me either. Robocop, the main character in the movie, Robocop attended a wrestling event, meaning in WCW canon, Robocop existed. Everything you saw in that movie, that shit was real. That happened. In the world of WCW, the movies Robocop and Robocop 2 are biopics. I mean, the jury's out on Robocop 3, though. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll see where that goes. You see, Sting, who looked a lot more like a surfer with uh, some face paint, was once a member of the Four Horsemen, and why he'd choose to join the biggest heel group in professional wrestling at the time is beyond me, considering he was the ultimate babyface, but sure, do you. Though on second thought, maybe it's just because Sting has always made poor life choices in the ring. I mean, that's kind of why the trope of Sting being betrayed by all his best friends is a thing, right? And playing right into that trope was the storyline, as eventually the Four Horsemen turned on Sting, beating him down and cementing their heel status. Even though this technically would have for a short time made them the Three Horsemen. But okay. Didn't think that one through, did you guys? Luckily, they fixed their name by having Sid Vicious join them. And at a 4-1 to one disadvantage, Sting looked to even the playing field by bringing in a fucking cyborg. And good call. Dude looks like he's packing. I mean, look, look. Robocop don't play. Horseman, you said you were gonna take me out. So now the time has come. So before you make your next move, make it over, Creed. If this was planned so far ahead, I was still on the committee. Bear in mind, a guy like Barry Windham returns and it's fucking last minute and all his other shit happens last minute, but this fucking stunning angle was mm -hmm. planned three months, months in out. the work. They'd made arrangements with because the movie was going to be coming out. It was going to be a tie-in. Um, the posters, that's nothing. If you go back into the ad, it was like a movie poster. The return of RoboCop. It had a big picture of RoboCop. You wouldn't have known it was a wrestling card. We're going to have RoboCop, the real guy. What? And we got to figure out something for him to do. Or Peter whatever. Weller would have been the actor. Well, I don't know who the fuck Peter Weller was. And I don't. And fuck Peter well, Weller. Everybody looks too. like Peter Weller, right? He, he can't fall down. Because if he falls down, he can't get back up. And he can't climb stairs in his suit. So we had to figure out something. So that's why I ended up getting put in that fucking cage at ringside. So there would be a cage sitting there. There was a purpose for the cage sitting there. And they came up with the idea that there would be a cage at ringside because he could spread the fake bars. This is, yeah, they fucked our match up. You were there to get Robocop over. I was over. there to get Robocop over. So, and, and Since that time, Sting has enlisted the aid of Robocop. We don't know exactly Robocop's nature. It is. It's Robocop and Sting. Let's get a shot of this. I know we're not supposed to go in there, but man, we need to Let's get closer. Let's get closer. Let's get a shot of this. Fans, I hope you're seeing this at home. Robocop is here with Sting. Robocop is in the, here in the armory. Robocop is here with Sting. And how about this one? I get this one shut up in my keister about twice a day. It's about Robocop. They, they, they asked me how I could stay straight. I refuse to watch it. And I, I know you're in it. Robocop's in it. And I'm, I'm talking in it, so I'm in it. It's when Robocop came to Sting's aid, or I think it was. Guess what? 
I ain't watching it. That was one of the, one of the most one of the more embarrassing moments in my career. That's for sure. I have RoboCop in there in the cage. And the, oh my gosh! Oh, I, I, I don't I don't want to remember these things. Sting has been caged by the Horseman, but here comes RoboCop, Bob. Give me a bucket of balls so we get down with you. Oh gosh, Almighty! He's pulling that door right off the hinges. Uh, Bobby Horseman. And Big Sid back up. Wait for another day. Sting and RoboCop have asserted themselves here. Sting will be part of either of those, especially the Stinger and Ro I call bullshit. Why didn't RoboCop just kill those guys? I mean, the match could have been over a lot quicker than expected. That's all I'm saying. I mean, think about it. There's no need for a rematch now. Can't have a rematch if everybody's dead. I think my favorite part in all of this is that this is now a part of the historical wrestling saga of Ric Flair versus Sting. Like, you think of all the great matches they had. You, you think of all the technical marvels and, and the, the really, li li like, story-driven, like, like just intense competitive matches these two had. And then somewhere in that, that long timeline of events is RoboCop. Amazing. I love wrestling. And this, of course, leads me to the biggest missed opportunity in all of professional wrestling history. At WrestleMania 31, Sting would make his official debut with the WWE in a match against Triple H. A match in which Triple H entered from a message from the T-800 himself. Judgment Day is here. It's time to play the game. Before being briefly escorted on the ramp by Terminators. And where was RoboCop? Where was he? We could have easily had Terminator versus RoboCop at WrestleMania. Dream match. People who didn't like wrestling would have tuned into that. Of all the names you bought out from WCW, you couldn't have got RoboCop too? You got Sean Stasiak, but you didn't think to buy out RoboCop? Come on now. Just have the Cyborg bring Sting to the ring and then have Teddy Long come out and turn it into a tag match play. A holla holla holla. Teddy, stop dancing, please. Teddy! Teddy, stop dancing! Well, my bad. Holla! 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 Though, to be fair, maybe it's for the best that Robocop didn't make his long awaited return because, in hindsight, you know, wh which Robocop are we gonna get? Robocop? Robocop 3? Reboot Robocop? That's a Terminator timeline I don't want to watch. Just like anything after Terminator 2. I'm kidding, of course. I've actually never seen any of those movies. Or any of the Robocop movies. That's right. It was all a swerve, bro. Well, let me tell you something, brother. You're watching the Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso's channel, dude. So if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole, and you too want to become a V-tard, don't forget to like and subscribe, and click that little bell icon to get updates and notifications. Ooh, tell him what up, Mach. Ooh, yeah. Follow the man on Twitter, yeah, because we all know it's not stalking if it's on the internet, yeah. Join the madness by joining the Discord, and if you have a moment of time and a free dollar to spare, head over to the SIJW's Patreon, dig it, where you can request videos, get exclusive videos, and early access to content, yeah. Or go down to PayPal, where you can buy the shirts, brother. But most importantly, just remember, if you're not tuning in, then, then you're, you're missing, missing out. out.